Now you probably clicked on this video because you have done some shameful, sinful things in your life. And ever since you've been trying to pray and do the right thing to secure, have a chance to secure your place in heaven. And you're probably wondering what extra things can I do besides praying every day and doing good things in my life to secure that place in heaven? Well, what if I tell you there's no more 50-50 chance to it? What if I tell you if you do this, you are going to be reserving your spot 100% in heaven? No need to go there and they tell you it's full, go back. None of that. This is a 100% guaranteed spot in heaven. In a Christian church with a low price of $100 a square feet, you are going to be securing your spot in heaven. And do not worry with the payment. They have Visa, American Express, Master, Mastro, Google Play, and Apple Pay. No cash, only credit cards. Cash, you go there, they're going to send you back. So what are you waiting for? Secure your spot in heaven now. And you're probably asking yourself right now, Kush, this is obvious, obviously a scam. How is this even possible? You can't buy your way into heaven. This is where you're completely wrong because a pastor, a father, who's been selected to be the father of the church, has died multiple times just to have meeting with God and said he has set meetings with God, spoke to him and God granted him a permission to do this. And guess what? The slots are selling fast because they've already collected thousands of dollars. You're probably too late. The slots are already full. But if you are lucky enough, meaning if you have a pocket full of cash, I'll leave the link down below in the description. Click on it fast and secure your spot. Now lately, there's been a lot of things that have been shocking me in the internet. First, a monkey doing math. Second, you getting a girlfriend. Third, when a rich person that has everything, height, money, literally everything, fame, they decide to ruin their career because one day they woke up and they realized they don't like adults anymore. They like kids. And the fourth thing added today is the people who actually believe in this <laughs> scam. Scammers are punching the air right now because everyone thought of this, but no one thought they would actually buy into it. Now, this whole thing wasn't that big. It happened in 2017, but it just recently resurfaced the internet and it has been trending all over the internet, literally. TikTokers, YouTubers, everyone's talking about it. According to its Facebook page, the Church of the End of Times is selling plots of land in heaven to its followers, claiming to be the only true church. They offer the land at the low price of $100 per square meter, allowing you to own your own slice of literal paradise. They, of course, accept American Express, Master... And the church was called the Church of End Times of Apollo C something. It's like a Mexican church. I've looked for it all over Facebook. It is nowhere to be found. They probably took all the money and dipped. But no need to panic. More real estate like this will resurface the internet once scammers decide to give this a try. We have the Jannah real estate. We have the Heaven real estate. We have the, the Happy Place real estate. The Big Shiny Sky real estate. There's many more to come. Now, obviously, this whole thing was a scam the first thing you see it and you wouldn't actually believe anyone would pay for it but i won't be surprised if people actually pay for it because there are a lot of too religious people who would actually buy into these things and just believe whatever they see on the internet most likely our parents or our grandparents now i've read multiple news articles regarding this and it says basically it says a lot of people are talking about it it's a whole trend everyone's believing what is happening by this guy but it is Iglesia del Finale de los Tiempos Church. The TikTokers have been saying that they have collected millions of dollars through land deals, promising a spot in heaven. But however, it turned out that it was a headline-grabbing church. It's actually satire. They were actually making fun of the people who do church promotions like this. So the whole thing was satire. Because for the people who actually investigated this back in 2017 and 18, they actually went on the whole Facebook page. And they found out the whole thing that page was posting was just sarcastic things of church scamming people. They were just having fun with it. They were just posting. It was like a meme page of churches to be more specific. And a lot of YouTubers and TikTokers are actually believing this. There's a Christian church out there selling land plots. There's a church in Mexico that is selling plots of land. They haven't read the community notes that Twitter has been posting that this whole thing was satire. They're actually believing that there's something like this happening right now because I wouldn't judge them to be honest because the, the scammers are getting really creative with this. Same like that guy that we covered a few months ago where he scammed $3.2 million from his audience. A pastor. I think it was a total of 3.4 million. But out of that 1.3, half a million dollars went to the IRS and a few hundred thousand dollars went to a home remodel that the Lord told us to do. The fact that he said that the Lord told us to spend a couple of hundred thousands on the kitcheling remodel because this is all part of your path. This is your destiny because 
having your kitchen sucks like this is a conversation happening with uh, you know him and god because they talk on daily basis you know like hi how are you how's everything he scammed billions of dollars in crypto and when they confronted them and they asked him why did he do it he made a whole apology video saying that god told him to start this crypto thing but god didn't tell me that it, this whole thing was like is going to turn up to be a scam so he basically called god a scammer a pastor called God a scammer. And I will not be surprised if actually someone comes in the coming days and just makes a whole page or in the coming months and starts actually being for real and people buying into it. People buy into any type of scams, to be honest. Literally, someone can be like, you want to smell good? You want to get a girlfriend? Are you tired of being alone? And just farts into a perfume bottle and just be like... Spray this on yourself and girls will be all over you. And I have no doubt that people are going to pay for that. Honestly, that's not a bad business idea. Might do it in the future. Might have merch for it as well. And obviously, the majority of people who are not stupid started to make whole jokes about this saying, well, you know what? I will do it for $50. Guys, give, give me your money. Give me. And for that small amount of people who actually believe this, they were like, take my money. Where, where do I pay? Where? Who? And it turned out to be, the whole thing turned out to be satire. They're like, oh yeah, 100%, I knew this whole thing was a scam. I have one thing to ask you. Do you think you can bribe God with money? You can be like, yo, yo, take my money, thousands of dollars, but make, make sure I go to heaven. And imagine these people who actually pay for this and they end up going to hell. And, you know, once you're in hell with like other people down there, they're like, well, wh why are you here? What horrible things you did? Like, oh, I paid this guy, and then, you know, this whole thing turned out to be a scam. I honestly thought I'll be going to heaven. So I paid this guy, like, $20,000, and I started doing horrible, horrible things in my life. Because I, I thought, like, my spot in heaven is secured. But it turned out the whole thing was a scam, and that's why I'm here. But anyways, what about you? So, yes, I had to break it to you. You cannot buy your way into heaven. You cannot just be a bad person and just pay money bribe god and be like yo let, let me let me get that spot in heaven it, it doesn't work like that you actually got to be a good person you got to pray and inshallah one day all of us will be having a meet and greet in heaven inshallah but i really look forward to the scammers who actually do this for real and people pay for it it will be a good story to cover and just laugh at anyways just thought this was funny just wanted to share it with you let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you do not watch one of these videos you're gay Straightness, this, you, you thought I, would, I was done with this trend, huh? Gay, full, full gayness. Straightness disappearing in three, two, 